so many, many, many moons ago, right, there was an artist that a lot of people might still remember his name because it's taught in a lot of classes, but uh, Pablo Picasso was hanging out in a cafe and somebody asked him for a sketch. <laughs> and um, <laughs> so he, he did a sketch of, you know, some doodle on a napkin and he said, that'll be a million dollars. And the person was like, what? <laughs> and he told him, you know, Pablo Picasso's reply was, um, well, actually, me, the person was like, how can you charge that much for a sketch? That seems outrageous to me. And Pablo Picasso said something to the effect of, well, I've spent my entire life learning how to do that sketch. So this is entire life's worth of effort and practice and learning to get to this point. So that's what you're paying for. So... I'm just starting with that story to sort of give an idea of how one way for an artist to think about valuing themselves and their work, because it's not like if you're if you're in it for the long run, if you're doing it as like, I'm going to be an artist for life. I think it's useful to look at it as I am at any moment that somebody is hiring me or commissioning me for their work, they have to be aware or they may not be aware, but you have to be aware that you are um, you are taking the practice of your entire life into that work. So budget accordingly, uh, value your work accordingly. So um, so next, I'll start with my very first uh, my very first job, my very first client. Um, I was paid $10 an hour to basically make a comic book. Um, so I did everything. I, I like how to write it and do um, the roughs. And this was for like, a, it was for a public service thing. So this was like a Louisiana firm who was working. They were doing some stuff with the government and doing like some public service stuff. And it was a project about um, uh, drinking and driving, uh, preventing like uh alcoholism amongst teenagers whatever um okay so i at the time i was like okay ten dollars an hour seems fine i don't know how long it's going to take me to make this like you know what i mean yeah um at the time it seemed good and i'm sure that was fine for that time because i mean i was still learning as an artist i was still growing as an artist um yeah. ultimately you know the project probably took I don't know. It's probably a week's worth of work, and I got paid maybe at best eighteen hundred for it. Okay, um, which is not bad. No, <laughs> not bad. Eighteen hundred for thing. a week's worth of work is not bad at all. Yeah, and and here's the other thing though is like, so I mean, unfortunately, with that client, they had a lot of work they wanted to do with me. So I kind of for a while, I I had, I would always have some more stuff to do with them, but. As a you know, if you're working as a freelance artist, eighteen hundred ain't nothing. Eighteen hundred yeah. is not going to last you because you don't know when your next, you don't know when your next job's going to come, and you don't right. know where it's going to come from. So part of what you have to think of in terms of budgeting, if you're doing freelance, uh, you know, speaking about salaried work, that's a whole other, yeah, that's a whole other avenue. Um. Part of what you need to budget for yourself when you're deciding how much to charge, you know, a client um, needs to involve also, you know, how covering like, the, covering your bills in the downtime if there's not another yes. gig for two weeks, right? But also cost of something I never even thought of was cost of like um, your materials. Yeah, oh. this is something I'm thinking more and more about because if I ever do like, um, and I've done a couple, but if I end up doing more commissions that involve like, um, like materials, you know, like painting or whatever, because like a lot of the stuff that I do is digital, right? So it's expensive up front, right? Like buying a computer is probably about, you know, depends anywhere between 700 to 2000, right? Um, but then also there's, um, your there's stylus, the tips that go along with it, your software, uh, all that stuff. Batteries. Yeah. All yes. that stuff adds up. Sure. 
up front it's really expensive but over the long run is extremely cheap because you yeah. basically just have to buy that that one that computer is going to last you if you're doing if you're using it well like a car or whatever <laughs> you're maintaining it it's going to last you at least you know a good seven to ten years and Absolutely. you know depending on what you're working in that shouldn't be an issue you know like as so for myself like as um as a digital illustrator um this like lenovo yoga laptop that i that i do all my work on it's perfect i don't need anything beyond that for that in particular but if i ever start doing like 3d modeling or something i need to i would need to bump up so like i've been doing a lot of and this is tangential but i've been doing a lot of like uh video editing lately just to kind of showcase some of my work this laptop can't really deal with it very well in sure. terms of like being able to preview while i'm working at the same time um point being though those are all things that need to be involved in your estimation of like how you value value your own work and of course that's easier when it's when the relationship is more like when somebody's coming to you like and so maybe another way of putting it is like so if i get hired for a commission or somebody approaches me for commission work mm -hmm. like hey i have this idea I thought you would be a great artist to execute it. Like, uh, I need an illustration for a short story or whatever. You have the opportunity and that, that you as the artist have the opportunity, the ball's in your court to set what you want that rate to be. And if they don't want it, oh, well, you know, you can negotiate down. And if they still don't want it, you know. Say la vie. Yeah, yeah, it is what it is. Somebody else will come along.